Good morning, Abby. A big puppy dog stretches. Elvis is already yelling at me this morning. Hey, good morning, goats. Oh boy, we have got some fogging going on here. Daisy, good morning. Oh, I got a cobweb in my face. Hey, big girl. Oh. Randy, you just chilling this morning? Good morning. Yes, big girl. Okay. We got some breakfast. That one. And I realize how dumb it was to try and start the vlog right after coming directly out. Good morning, Bella. Hi, baby girl. Hello. Let me get some more. Hold on, Daisy. I'm coming. So, goats got their breakfast. Izzy's just going to head by a tree. So, everybody over here is eating. Let's go let the chickens out. Are you ready to go let the chickens out? Hi, Abby. You ready? Can we see anybody in here? Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, girls. Hello. Chicky chickies. Good morning. I got some running right over to Beth. That's just what they do. Abby, let's go see Beth. Come on. What are you doing, big girl? Huh? You ready to go see Beth? Oh, she's so excited. Bethy girl, good morning. Oh, my goodness. Hey, big girl. Can you get off the gate? Hey, sweetie. She's trying to rub her butt on the gate, and I'm trying to close it. <laughs> you stinker. Beth, you're not helping me, girl. I can't even lock it because she's leaning on it. Okay, there she goes. All right. Good morning, pretty girl. Hi, baby. You ready to go get some breakfast? Chicken's hanging out in the water. We're going to change out the water this morning. Good morning. It's pretty soon we'll end up having to make a run to get some more pig food, but we're probably good for at least maybe another week. Watch out, girls. Come on, Beth. Let's go. She's just some scratching my butt. <laughs> I'm gonna have to dump out that water, girly. You can see that there is some watermelon rind over here because yesterday I brought Beth and the chickens some watermelon. And this area right here, you can see all like the roots and everything with this mud hole be well, it's supposed to be her little mud hole. She lays in here and she rolls around, but it's like dug it up enough where now we're starting to get some roots. So, okay, and then we have a chicken over here scratching in your food, Beth. You better get over here, girl. Hey, girls, this is not yours. Hey, hey. No, girls. Get, get. Beth, you better get over here. Girls, not your food. Go on. River, are you keeping an eye on those chickens? Here is how our baby chicks are doing. They are getting so big. I'm already taking care of their food and water. Still, I constantly need to pull out the little shavings. But everybody is getting so big. Yes, baby girls. Willow over here is still the smallest little chicken here. Yes, the one that's looking at me right now. This one right here. She's still just the smallest little baby in here. But we just still love her. Oh, look at you getting up top here. Y'all playing? You ready to go outside, Angus? I gotta wash my hands. Now it's Angus's turn to go outside. Yes, big boy, it's time for you to go outside. All right, you have to sit down. You have to sit. Good girl, Abby. That's a good girl. I basically have to bribe him with a treat to come back inside the house. Sit down. Because Mastiffs, they like to stare at you like a Greek statue in your yard. And they're like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? I'm just going to stare at you. Yes, I know you need to fill up your water bowl. And then River sits right here because she waits for her treat, too. Are you ready for a treat? Are you ready for a treat, baby? Hold on. I'm just gonna set them right there. You just gonna stare at them? Huh? Go ahead. Good girl, River.
There you go. Angus. And we can get some more water for Abby. She's got water in here, but I'm gonna give her some fresh water. And I might as well just take care of River's water. Now River, she does have a big bowl. That is because when she was a kitten, she had cat size bowls and she would never drink out of it. She would only drink out of Angus's bowls. And so then I read online that sometimes cats don't like drinking water out of bowls if their whiskers can touch the sides. So she would never drink water out of her water bowl and we think that was because it was too small for her and her whiskers were touching. And she would always drink out of Angus's bowl which was incredibly disgusting because he slobbers and it's, it, when Angus drinks out of his bowl it tends to be more slobber than water. So this was an extra bowl that we had. So we gave it to River. We gave River an extra bowl that we had and she drinks out of that. And we put her, her water bowl in this little catchery here. Well, we started doing that in that um, the apartment that we had last time, excuse me. And it was a way to keep Angus away from her bowls. I keep her food bowl up here um, because it keeps her away from River's food because she will go after. River, what are you doing? What are you doing up there, crazy? It has been a while since I have bought this and it's that sugar-free vanilla flavored syrup that I had picked up over at Dollar Tree in case y'all are new here. I'm about to make my second cup of coffee. I've already got my creamer in here and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try out this um, coffee syrup from Dollar Tree. We're gonna find out how good it tastes. And I usually use this to measure everything out, but since I'm trying to do this with one hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it directly into my cup. We'll do that much. And... Oh, apparently I shortchanged myself. How the hell did I do that? We're gonna go ahead and try a little sippy sippy. That is actually not that bad, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna drink the rest of this cup and then I'm gonna come back and give you my honest review. Look at all the babies. They're just all laying here against the fence. Here comes my chickens. Hey girls. Hello babies. He's a good boy. He's such a good boy. Randy, hey buddy. Uh, look at Izzy. Izzy, I swear I am just waiting for her to pop. Look at the way she's laying. She is so full right now. She doesn't even look like she can lay down right. Anytime now, y'all, I'm expecting between this month, right now it is, what is today? I think today's August 12th. Randy, do you hear me talking behind you? <laughs> so between today and September, these girls are gonna pop, I'm telling you. It's gonna happen, you just wait and see. I was talking about Izzy and you're getting in my camera shot. See, this has to be about me. This has to be about me. Oh, and now my camera is fixing to die. So now I need to go get a fresh battery real quick. I came out here without a fresh battery. That was stupid. Look at my girls just waiting over there. They think I have treats. Aw, the poor babies. Okay, let me go get a fresh battery. We got a fresh battery, Daisy. Yes, we do. Can you hear her? I've got this platform here so they could stand on here and get to the water easier, but they just choose not to use it every single time. They're such stinkers. I need to clean this trough out. We're gonna see if this works. I don't have anything else going on today, so I figured we're gonna come out here and have like a little sip and chat. I got my Cherry Limeade, Cherry Blade Lemonade Bang Energy Drink. This is like my favorite flavor right now. Not even really sure why I'm using a straw because that's not something I normally do, but it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Cherry Limeade is just like kind of been my go-to flavor right now, especially after that time that uh, Charlotte and I had gone to, um, we went to an Ind Indian reservation for the 4th of July and there was these ladies that were selling like these um, drinks and I got a Cherry Limeade and it was a fresh one. Hi ma'am, you cannot have my drink. Then no. And it was so flipping good that now just, it's kind of like my go-to flavor right now. Especially if you ever try those um, sparkling waters over at Walmart, I'm expecting her to like get my drink here. You ever have those spark, like, and it comes like in those 
big, like, I don't know if it's like a liter, whatever you, I don't know, one of those bigger bottles, you know, and I think, did they still sell them for 50 cents? Maybe they're 75 cents now, or are they a dollar? I remember back in the day, they used to be like 50 cents, but anyway, they have a cherry limeade flavor. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you try it, because they're really good. But today is Saturday, y'all. Daisy is trying to drink my energy drink. So this is a sip and chat with me and Daisy. What? Do you see something? Do you see something? I guess we're just doing a sip and chat right now. I feel conflicted today. I have like conflicted feelings about today because today's Saturday and the reason why I have conflicted feelings and I've always been like one of those people that is like Saturdays are for sleeping in. But at the same time, it's like, but if I sleep in, then I feel like I'm wasting my day away. So I'm like, okay, if I get up, I can just like casually have my coffee and then come outside and take care of the animals. And I don't feel like I'm being rushed throughout my day. But at the same time, it's like, but it's Saturday. Saturdays are for sleeping in. I don't normally set my alarm clock or anything like that. I've just, I've been like that for a long time. You can ask my husband, Saturdays are for sleeping in but I felt conflicted. So I'm like, but you know what? We've only been in school for three days. <laughs> I mean, I usually get up at like five in the morning, but today I actually did set my alarm clock. I set it for six o'clock. So I still got to sleep in a little bit. Um, I did get to casually have my coffee, take care of the animals. And I feel like I get so much done, you know, especially if I can make a to-do to list, which I kind of forgot to do that today. So I also feel like I don't know what to do, which is probably why this vlog is gonna be short I don't know we'll see what happens but I did get some I've got some laundry going I got the dishes done the bed is made I did run over to the bank and then quickly turned around and ran back home because small town living our bank is closed on Saturdays so hello sir my little baby boy so I feel like I did get some stuff done today thankfully by the grace of God we do have some cloud cover and a nice breeze right now so that's great because we haven't had rain since like May. I think we had like a little bit of a sprinkle in July, but it wasn't enough to matter. Desperately, desperately need the rain. But right now I will take some cloud cover and an Elvis right here. Cloud cover and a little Elvis. <laughs> I just feel like today is Saturday. I kind of feel like I, I don't know what to do or talk about. Like all my chores have been done. It's not time to clean out the chicken coop. I could clean out your the uh, the goat water trough. We will go over here in just a little bit to go check on Beth's water. But yeah, I think it might just actually be a chill day in here in a few minutes. Um, we did get uh, today's Connex all filled up and the tent is gone, y'all. I am so excited. The tent is finally gone. Today and I, we both tackled all the stuff in his tent. Are you trying to eat my clothes? Are you trying to eat my clothes, you silly boy? Tita came home from work. We got everything out of the tent and into the Connex. He's been slowly trying to, you know, reorganize. You know, these things take a little time, you know, once you like kind of organize a mess and then you can organize it some more. But it's finally gone. We took it down and hauled it off to the dump. Um, there was no saving it. You saw the, ca uh, like, not the canvas, but like the cover for it. It's just destroyed. It was just completely destroyed. And then the frame, we were going to just give like the frame away to somebody, but parts of it were bent. Uh, we did keep a couple of legs because TJ is going to use the legs to kind of hold up a tarp and just kind of like make this cover for um, the mud truck. My arm is getting tired and this little boy just wants all the attention. Oh my God, just hit me with the horns. So I did haul, haul off the rest of the tent off to the dump. And while I was there, some really nice men, um, older men asked if I wanted some help, which was really nice because, um, I mean, not that I, I didn't really need the help. I could have done it myself, but hey, you know what? They offered to help. Why not? That was so nice of them. And I thanked them. And it was actually good that I did let them help me because then they saw some of the poles for a project that they were working on. Those poles were actually very useful for them. So win-win for everybody. So that was perfect. And then my shoes got covered in sand because we had sandbags along the tent. So had to clean those out. <laughs> um, everything is out of the tent into the Connex and that is gone. So happy about that. So the next thing is, is to um, eventually we'll get another Connex so that we can get all the stuff in the shed. And he's got a lot of stuff. So that, that entire footy, 40, footy, 
the entire 40 foot container. I'm so glad we didn't go with a 20 foot. Oh, uh, we were going to because of cost, but I'm glad in the end that we didn't do that because that man's got a lot of stuff and it, it fills up that 40 foot container. So we definitely have to get a second one for any, for all the stuff that is in the shed. <gasps> Look at this baby. Oh my God. Just love him so much. He's such a good boy. Don't eat my shirt. Don't eat my shirt, you silly boy. Randy. Just no fighting around me, please, okay? Randy, would you like a little sip and chat? Hmm? Well, I'll sip and you can chat. Come here. Hi. Hello, baby boy. Hello. No. I am excited for in a few more weeks that the baby chicks will be coming outside. I don't mind that they're inside. They don't bother me. Apparently there is an odor that I was just not aware of. I guess because I just got too used to it. Oh my God, this was so exciting. So I needed the girls to get their hair cut. They wanted to get their hair cut before the first day of school. And the lady that we usually use couldn't get a hold of her. Um, plus she's also like really, really far away from us. So it just, it wasn't working out. I asked some people in town, you know, like, who do you use? And somebody had recommended this one lady. And so I messaged her on Facebook and I said, Hey, you know, I've got two girls that want to get their hair cut. You know, can we schedule with you? And so she says, yes. Anyway, she does like the traveling salon. This tra I said tra she's like a traveling hairstylist is basically what she is. So she travels all over the place. Anyway, so I scheduled an appointment with her. She comes over and I thought, oh my God, she looks familiar. So she comes in the house and um, we get all set up and she looks at me and says, where do I know you from? And so I told her where we used to live and she used to live there too. And so she said, you know, she told us her name and she used to work at a salon uh, where we used to live. In fact, she was the first person to give Charlotte her very first haircut. So it was so crazy that like, I mean, God, Charlotte, Charlotte didn't have a lot of hair when she was little. And I think she got her first haircut. Maybe she might've been three years old. I don't even know. I'm looking at you like, you know, the answer as if you've been around here that long. He doesn't know. Maybe she was three. God, was she three or four? Anyway, I've got a picture of it. It was so cute. If I've got a, if I can get the picture, I can like put it like right here of her very first haircut. Now I don't have a picture of the lady that uh, cut her hair, but it was just so crazy because Charlotte is 11. That was years ago, you know, like what, eight, nine years ago or something. And we happened to find her in this small town in the middle of nowhere in East Texas. And I thought that is so crazy that we ran into her again. And we just loved her. Oh my gosh. I was just so disappointed. Like when she left the salon that we used to go to, um, I was so disappointed because Charlotte loved her. She um, always did such a great job. And I think she had cut Megan's hair at one point too. It just wasn't the same. And we were like struggling to find somebody to do the girl's hair. And long story short, we found her again. And I will probably go back to always using her because we loved her so much. She did such a good job. Megan loves her haircut. She got like a, like a shag kind of haircut. Looks so cute on her. And Charlotte, she got some very light layers because of like the texture of her hair. Um, and Charlotte also wanted to keep her hair nice and long. So she did get like some nice layers. She's really happy with it. They're happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. I feel like you could just sit with me all day, huh? You just sit with me all day, Elvis. And the other thing, little story, story time for you. So as you could see, we had cleared, well, between me, TJ, and uh, the goats, cleared all of this, right? But we still have like a lot of trees over here. Now the fence actually goes way past over there. They have like a huge area. What was it? Last Saturday, we actually had our farriers come over and I completely forgot. I was on the phone with my mom and TJ was doing something else. And I don't know, we just got busy and I just completely forgot to wrangle up the goats. And so that it was just easier for the farriers to come and trim their hooves. They come over I'm like, oh crap, we haven't even grabbed any of the goats yet. So me and TJ are running along 
all over here trying to catch a goat while TJ just like walks right up to Elvis, scoops him up like he's a little baby, brings him over there. And then while they were trimming his hooves, he was able to snag uh, Izzy, got her by the horns, and then I dragged her. By the time I walked her over to the farriers, because they were like set up like right over here, by the time I walked her over there, they were done with Elvis. And then uh, we were able to get Daisy, Randy, and Bella. They kept running into the trees over here, and it was a flipping nightmare because amongst these trees we have a mix of like pine trees and then there's like bushes with thorns all in them and we're like just running around all through this area just trying to catch these last two goats whereas like the three goats we had already gotten that were running away from us kept walking up to us like hey what you doing I'm like no i don't need you anymore and oh my god we spent forever trying to grab randy and bella to get their hooves trimmed and then even the farriers they were actually trying to help us too but um it got it was just too dang hot and they wouldn't stop running around we just we couldn't catch them we're like all right well you know what we're just gonna call it in a day their their pen is so huge they have too much room like they've got uh, plenty of room to run around and eat everything on a normal day which is fine but when you have farriers and you're trying to get their hooves trimmed and they're running away from you suddenly their pen is way too big and so we need to go get some panels for the next time they're, they're gonna be here in november again hopefully i can vlog that day we'll actually have a better situation we're gonna get some panels so that we can corner them and it won't be so crazy. It's, it's the same farriers that were here to uh, trim uh, Beth and Bruce's hooves, that one video. They're really good, we like them a lot. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna get some panels, we're just gonna corner them and that way they can just come in and just doop, 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 doop. I mean, like it takes no time at all. The hardest part is catching the goat. But if we can get them in a smaller section, it will be nothing at all. The day of, the day is already scheduled. That way the morning of when I go to feed them, I'm gonna feed them in their little sectioned off area so that way everybody's chill and we won't have anything to worry about. And then everybody will get their hooves trimmed. <laughs> so, and I have to do the same thing to Beth because when they come back here in November, it'll be time for Beth to get her nails done too. So yeah, that was a fun story. Trying to run all in these woods for like at least a half an hour. Trying to catch two goats, it never ended up happening. They didn't get their hooves trimmed. It'll be all right though. They'll be back and everybody will be taken care of. We'll be better prepared. We just had a lot going on that day and it was just crazy. Say hello to the camera. Say hi, YouTube. Say hello. Say hello, YouTube. Uh, what are you doing underneath the wagon? <laughs>